What's up, boys? We're going to be doing a little bit of research today on Price Picks. If you guys are already on Price Picks for your player props, I highly recommend joining. Great website. They match your first deposit 100% up to $100. So if you guys deposit 50, they'll match it. They'll give you guys $100 total. Pretty awesome. Use my code DOMG in order to get that offer. Uh, when you guys sign up for Price Picks, that link is in my description. But we're going to be researching a little bit of player props today. This is not ones that I'm necessarily entering. I'm just doing a little bit of research for you guys today. Take a look at some that I find a little bit interesting. We got quite a few today. Uh, we got five and then an extra three because of the promo that's going on on price pick. So I'll talk about that as well. But uh, if anyone is new, um, definitely like the video and subscribe and turn on post notifications. Those two things will help me out. So appreciate you guys would do those three things. Also, free Discord is in my description and the Patreon is in my description. $10 a month um, to go ahead and join that. I'm going to disclose everything from you guys pretty much from now on, uh, as long as I remember. But we were 4-2 last night, so it's a pretty good night uh, on the spread, but... Justin Herbert, though, promo screwed us. So if you count that, four and three. But uh, yeah, Justin Herbert. Um, but we were four and two in, uh, on for NBA. But uh, Herbert over 250, he was 14 yards short. That really stuck because of the promo they were doing. Uh, so it was a really good promo, good opportunity. And he just, uh, he kind of failed us there. So, but yeah, we were four and two in NBA. Uh, last night was, the night before that was not as great. The day before that, we were six and oh. So I don't know. Uh, there's some, there's going to be good nights. There's going to be bad nights. So. Just always keep that in mind uh, when you guys are creating your entries. Don't get super down on yourself sometimes. But uh, let's take a look at the first one here. Uh, let's go with Norm Powell. So Norm Powell here is one that I'm a little bit interested in today. He's at 19 and a half against Charlotte here. He's hit four out of his last five. 25, 23, 15, 26, and 29. He's either hitting it really well, really, really good, or kind of failing a little bit like, Gideon, like he did against Minnesota. So he needs 20 points today against Charlotte. Charlotte has most of those guys back now, uh, assuming Lonzo plays and Ish Smith plays. And they'll have their uh, lineup back. So 230 over under. That's one of the highest over unders I've seen in a while. I'm liking it a lot. No McCollum, Snell, or Zeller. And uh, Smith might might play, but I don't think that should really be a big deal for Powell here. So uh, shooting guard, though, going against Charlotte. Let's take a look at this matchup here. So going against Charlotte here, uh, Hornets are allowing the second most points to shooting guards. This is looking like beauty. <laughs> this is looking beautiful right now. So I'm definitely loving it here. Uh, the, line of mo the second most points to shooting guards. He only needs 20, 4 out of 5 hit rate. High, super high over under, and it should not be a blowout. So I'm kind of loving this one right off the bat. Let's take a look at what Number Fire says. Free NBA predictions um, or projections for uh, some of these stats. So let's take a look at Powell here. So Powell, they have him at 20.9 points. So they also like him on the over. Kind of liking this one a little bit to start off the day here. So probably going to be one of my favorite ones of the day. Um, but we'll see here. Um, but yeah, not everything I'm going to end up playing, like I said in the beginning of today's video, like Sadiq Bay yesterday, I was talking about 13 and a half under. I did not put that in my final spreadsheet on the Patreon, and he destroyed that. He had like 30 points last night, dude. I think he had like 23 in the first half. It was insane. I was like, I did not expect, I don't think anyone expected him to score 20 points. Uh, and I think the majority of people would also take him thir under 13 and a half, but that did not happen. <laughs> so, uh, just kind of further saying that, but. Uh, let's take a look at another one here. This one I haven't looked too much into here, but Brandon Ingram over 23 and a half points. Again, another guy that's been either killing it or failing a little bit. So 34, 27, 26, 16, or and 40 in his last five. So four to five hit rate. Let's take a look at this game here. So um, where's the, that game here? That game also is at 10 o'clock, by the way. So uh, Milwaukee Bucks against the Pelicans here. I believe it is in New Orleans, but uh, one and a half point spread. So that's a really small spread, but no Giannis. Uh, Dante, Brooke Lopez, Wesley Matthews, Bobby Portis, all those guys, man, are out for Milwaukee. So that explains the spread, and they're still favored. So 218 and a half is the over under, and uh, Brandon Ingram is going to be going against Grayson Allen. So if you start a shooting guard here, this is a projected lineup, but see what Milwaukee's allowing to the shooting guard position. So Milwaukee is a little bit on the harder side matchup wise against uh, the shooting guard. But if you take a look at the hit rate, I won't be too worried. A lot of guys are out for Milwaukee, so he also might be. He's. I feel. I feel like he might start at small forward. We'll see what he ends up start, starting at. But either way, the matchup isn't too tough for him, so I wouldn't necessarily be worried about the matchup. Let's see where they have him at on number fire. So they have Brandon Ingram at 23.8 points. So they like him on the over by about 0.3. So this might be a sweaty one. We'll end up seeing. But did head against Detroit. The only team he failed against was uh, Denver. So I'm not sure if he was starting at shooting guard or small forward but denver here is one of the harder defenses uh small forward wise denver where's denver at they're about in the middle so 
I don't know. We'll see uh, what happens in this one. I feel like this one might be a little bit close. If you guys don't feel good about it, obviously don't take it. But yeah, I always say don't take anything that you're not confident in. So uh, let's take a look at Joker. Jokic. Joker. 11 and a half rebounds. I like him a little bit on the over here. So 10, 19, 17, 13, 11 in those last five. Barely missed in those two games. Hit it pretty good in these three. So we'll see how many he ends up getting today. So Jokic here. Let's take a look at rebounds against Atlanta. So Atlanta. It's going to be a pretty good uh, rebounding match here between him and Capella. I believe Capella's playing, right? He's not on the protocols. Oh, he might not even play. That'd be even better for Joker. Man. Yeah, well, I don't know. We'll see, man. But, uh, yeah, full balls out. I'm, I also recommend not locking in your lineups until game time, like 7 o'clock for some of these games. So it's going to be hard to make your pairs, too. You kind of want to make games that are like 7, 7.30-ish, and when teams actually have their lineups set in because... It's going to be tough here because there's been a lot of last minute outs. You can literally see, look at how many players are out, 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 out. That's insane how many players are out right now. The Kings are even worse, dude. They are horrible right now. <laughs> I'm not even sure if that game's getting played, if I'm being honest. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, there's been so much going on here in the NBA. So I recommend a little waiting a little bit, but... Uh, so yeah, Atlanta a little bit on the harder side, but I won't be too, too worried about that. But they've been allowing a lot of rebounds to the center position. So that's part of the reason I like it. But they have at 12.4 rebounds. So they also like him on the over by about 0.9 of a rebound. So I do like him over. I believe he already hit this number against Atlanta this season. Don't quote me on that, but I believe that is what uh, he had. He did go over. Uh, one I've taken a little bit of a look at here. Let's take a look at an assist one real quick. Uh, let's take a look at Draymond Green. So I liked him over six and a half against, was it six and a half? I think it was six and a half against uh, the Knicks, and he did go over that, thankfully. I think he went over that last second, but uh, I did undertake in that one, and he hit. But seven, five, two, eight, and three. So four out of five hit rate in his last five. This one's a little bit interesting. Um, I don't know why this number is so high. If you take a look at this, I'm trying to figure this one out. I don't know the reasoning for bumping this up. So Jordan Poole here is the only one that just got rolled out. They still have Thompson and Wiseman, but I don't know why Jordan Poole would really be affecting Draymond Green's assist numbers. So I don't know what that's about because he's a guard. He's a power forward. If someone in the comments can help me out a little bit here, I don't really understand why the assist, the assist is getting messed up here against Boston. And Boston is allowing the fourth most or the fourth least amount of assists to the power forward position. So I don't really know why he's so low. Maybe number fire can kind of convince me out of this one. I'm trying to figure out if this is a bait or not. Yeah, they got 7.9. So I'm trying to figure out why this number is so high. Yeah, number five likes him on the over too. So I'm, I don't know. Someone that comments helped me out because I don't understand the reasoning behind this, honestly. I don't know. Uh, maybe because Horford is out? Maybe? They still have Robert Williams, Jason Tatum. I don't know. I don't know why they like him so much. Um, he did, he was one for two on this number last season. So that is something to note. He had seven and 10. So I don't know. This is not necessarily, again, something I'm going to take. I was, I just found that one kind of interesting. So. I don't really know what's going on there, so <laughs> probably just going to fade it, but a little interested in that one. Uh, the last one out of my five uh, right here before we hop into the promo for prize picks is uh, Monte Morse, three-point makes, one and a half. 100% hit rate in his last five. He's had three, three, four, three, and two, so really good in his last five. He's averaging three in his last five. So let's take a look at this game here. So Denver, point guard going against Atlanta. Let's take a look at three-point makes that Atlanta allows. Uh, so Atlanta is allowing one of the, they're allowing some of the most uh, three-point makes to the point guard position. So that is something that's a little bit noteworthy, but uh, maybe even want to take his assists, man. I mean, they're allowing a crazy amount of assists to point guards. I've not taken a look at that one yet, but three right there is what they're allowing on average to the uh, three, to the three ball. So let's take a look at, oh, they don't have three-point makes on here. We'll still take a look at his points here and what they like. Whoops. Come on. There we go. So they like him at 13.4 points. So just three of those have to be, or two of those have to be, six, six of those points have to be from the three ball. So we'll see uh, for Monte Morris. But I'm kind of liking that one at first look. Uh, I do want to take a look at the assist though. Where's his assist on here? They don't have them up, do they? Yeah, they have at three and a half. They have, uh, the only ones for Denver they have is Barton and uh, Jokic. So, huh. All right, let's take a look at this promo here. So if you guys know who, Book it with Trent is on TikTok um, or Twitter or anything like that. They're doing a promo with prize picks today, and uh, it's either fade it or take it. So if all three hit or if all three miss, 
you'll get a 10 times bonus. So if you take all three in one, so let's say you, you put $5, you make a $5 entry on Tatum over points, Val over 12 and a half rebounds, and Holiday over seven and a half assists, you turn that five into 50. You get the 10 times bonus. If you take, but if but if all three don't hit, you don't get that. So, but if you take all three under, so Tatum, Val, and Holiday under, then you get that 10 times for the five. Hopefully that kind of makes sense. Uh, go to prize picks for more details. Um, but, and also book with Trent. He has that video up on TikTok and Twitter, but I just want to take a little bit of a look at this. So he likes Tatum over 27 and a half points. So we'll see if we want to take this or fade it. So 42, 24, 29, 34, and 31 in his last five. Four to five hit rates. So let's take a look at this here. So by the way, his last one was off by half a point. So <laughs> they've already done this one more, one other time. Whoops. I don't think he has a Z in his name. But uh, Tatum here. They met 24 and a half. So they like him on the under. So maybe this is one we should end up fading, man. We'll see. But yeah, no all Horford tonight. So and Parker and Williams. So not that Williams though. But power forward going against Golden State. Uh, by the way, three and a half point spread, 216 over under. So shouldn't have to worry about a blowout. I think there's too many blowouts tonight. But so the Warriors here are allowing. They're about in the middle for points here. I'm not really sure how I feel about this one. I feel like this one could really go any way. It's almost like a coin flip. But number five really hates it. So I don't know. We'll see. I'm not sure what he's done already on the season. I, I right before I only put this in the video because I saw it just before I clicked the record button. So uh, but they like Val over 12 and a half rebounds. He does. The 12 and a half against Milwaukee. Um, one out of five hit rate. But no Giannis, obviously, or Portis. So it's gonna kind of uh, suck for Milwaukee. Um, but good for Val. So we'll see what the uh, number five likes for Val. Come on. All right, there we go. They like him for 12 and a half rebounds. So they like him on the dot. So again, maybe it's the one, this is another one that could end up being a coin flip. Honestly, at this point, I think I would probably fade it without even looking at Holiday um, under or over seven and a half assists. But I, I'm not necessarily fade it, but just like not touch it. So yeah, I just wouldn't touch it. Not, not necessarily pick everything against, but. I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm the biggest fan about this one so far. So let's take a look at Milwaukee game again. Uh, over under 218. One half point spread. Uh, point guard against the Pelicans. So point guard assist against the Pelicans. They are allowing... Where's the Pelicans here? Uh, they're right there. 7.86. So they're on about 7.86. See where they have Holiday here. Well, come on. There we go. Six and six and a six point eight. This is what they have met. So they like everything pretty much on the under here. They, they like uh, Val right on the dot. But I don't know. Maybe this one you guys. I'm not sure if I'd necessarily take this. If you guys want to throw five dollars an entry for it and against it, uh, so you either play all three over or all three under, um, you can ha you have a shot at getting fifty out of it. But I don't know. Uh, I'm probably just not gonna touch it at all. If I'm being honest, I'm not a big fan of it. I feel like this could easily go one for three or two for three. So, yeah, I don't know. Uh, it's not a horrible thing. I'd probably lean more towards completely. I'd probably lean more towards against it, to be honest, um, than taking it. But I don't know about Holiday with Giannis and Portis out. I mean, he's really going to only be passing to Grayson Allen. I guess Middleton. Middleton's are still banged up. And then DeMarcus Cousins. So, I don't know. I'm not sure how I feel about that. But, uh, yeah, let me know what you guys are doing. If you guys are fading it, going against it, or taking it uh, tonight. So, that's what that promo is. But, yeah, pretty long 14-minute video. I appreciate you guys watching. And if anyone is new, make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on post notifications. All the links are in the description for the Patreon, the promo code, and the Discord. That's going to do it. Appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.